Aujourd'hui, on se trouve à Riga, en Lettonie. Et qu'est-ce qu'on va faire eh bien, On va visiter des projets immobiliers par l'intermédiaire de clients qui sont devenus partenaires. On a eu écho de cette opportunité et on, on fait le déplacement pour le week-end. Les prix de l'immobilier ici, il faut savoir qu'ils sont en retard par rapport à ceux de Tallinn, de l'Estonie. Donc, euh, opportunité, eh bien, c'est ce qu'on va voir dans cette vidéo. Je suis Romain Mato, PDG de Life Invest. Et si vous voulez savoir comment développer votre patrimoine et payer moins d'impôts grâce à l'investissement, l'entrepreneuriat à l'étranger, eh bien, je vous recommande de passer sur lifeinvest.eu. Are you excited? Yes, yes. Let's go. Pourquoi Riga particulièrement bon, Déjà, c'est à côté de l'Estonie, c'est dans l'Union européenne et les prix sont, sont moins élevés. Ce qu'il faut savoir, c'est que le, le Riga a quelques années de retard sur, sur l'Estonie. Ce sont des lois qui sont différentes, donc c'est un processus de vente qui est un peu plus complexe. Mais euh, on, va voir, on va voir en détail. On fait d'abord un, une étude de terrain personnelle, parce que ben, pourquoi, pas, euh, pourquoi pas investir ici, moi personnellement profiter de la hausse potentielle des prix du mètre carré. Si, si la Lettonie se porte aussi bien que l'Estonie, eh bien on peut, on peut potentiellement faire du 10% par an de retour. Et comme d'habitude, c'est ce qu'on essaie de faire sur la chaîne, c'est de vous proposer des solutions d'investissement à fort potentiel de rendement à l'étranger. Donc je suis excité de découvrir tout ça et de vous partager ça sur la chaîne YouTube. Tu vois, on est super centre, c'est cet immeuble-ci. Euh, c'est une opération d'achat-revente. Donc nos partenaires ont, ont investi plusieurs dizaines de millions d'euros dans l'immobilier dans euh, sur les Baltiques et en Allemagne. Et ce qu'ils font, c'est qu'ils dénichent l'opportunité et font de la revente. Donc ils font du flip. On va voir ce que ça donne. Donc ça va du studio aux quatre pièces pour différents profils possible de faire de la location pérenne ou bien de faire de, de la location saisonnière. Okay, so this is a common area which yeah. leads to individual yeah. flats. Okay. For instance, uh, this this is like a, a bedroom living zone. Uh huh. And and and, and uh, everywhere we try to make the bathroom quite quite big for small apartments. Yeah, so this would be the kitchen. Yeah, this would be the bathroom. bathroom. You can see that's quite big there, like a shower zone. And well, you guys are going to to do the finishings or no? It's it's being sold this way, yeah. Yeah, yeah, correct. It's not it's not completely. It's not finished. We'll open up. We will shut these. Uh, okay. Th these places, but yeah, it's not ready yet. But uh, overall, we 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 do it with white white gray finish as we call it. Could you please show us? And um, how 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 much do you estimate the, the price per meter square like this for for the the building being ready? You know, being ready to go on the on the rental market. Uh, it will cost extra five to six hundred per square meter. Five to six. Okay. From this, yeah. Including the kitchen and everything. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And this is central heating. Central heating. Yeah. All right. Can we uh, 
um, block it when we are not here? Is it individual? Uh, so or is it in, in this one, we don't have any individual counters. Okay, counters just for electricity, water. Counter electricity, water, water. is individual. Yeah. And for the building, is is communal. Yeah, the heating is communal because there are okay. like overall two buildings together, so it's right. harder. We own just four floors, and that's why it's harder to to take uh, like to get uh, get uh, away from other, uh, let's say, inhabitants. Okay. If we would own whole building as one unit in the beginning, then we could do it. But okay. And how is it calculated? Is it monthly? Is it automated? Or it's each month there is somebody uh, yeah, else? Yeah, monthly we have this man man management and I think central heating approximately in winter is like one euro, more or less. One to one, one twenty per square oh, meter. Per square meter. Yeah. One to one twenty. Mm -hmm. Even though the inflation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, more or less. Okay. More or less. Okay. The same person. In Estonia, price is um, higher. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, energy but, but, but again, we, we can't say because different building has different uh, tariffs. Yeah. And, and I don't know how it's like historical evaluated. It's not like one house in the center mm -hmm. is the same. For instance, neighbor house will cost 160, this uh -huh. will cost 120. Why it's like that? Nobody can answer. Maybe it was done better uh, back maybe, then. Maybe. Maybe because they renovated in 2000. The building was already renovated in 2000, beginning of 2000s. So say everything. That's why maybe maybe, maybe it was better inside yeah. to that one. There were okay. there were already communications saying that it's not practical, totally. New. And so, how much is, is this unit right here? How much in meter square? Uh, how many well, square meters? Twenty six. Twenty six. Twenty six. Twenty six. C'est pas mal parce que du coup il y a une partie chambre ici. Cuisine semi-individuelle avec avec de, de ouais, des fenêtres dans chaque pièce. 20, 26, 26. Ouais. Managing all the builders, okay. agents, uh, oh, okay. uh, thinking about, about the prices, okay. and, so man managing, and managing my brokers as well. To make sure that the entire project goes yeah. well, yeah. the renovation, yeah, all the all the all the documentations, government, government, government yeah, and monuments, and etc. etc. Uh, because yeah. it's protected, of course. Yeah, yeah. it's an area. That's so, nice. for instance, we need to keep this like, fireplace. Oh, that's nice. With the main room here? Yeah, 50, this one 58,000, and that one 55 something. So 58,000 for celui-ci, 28,000 for celui-ci. This one 27, that one 24,5. 27 mètres carrés, 25 mètres carrés, 50 celui qu'on a vu, was 46,790. Pour 47,690. Un prix, euh, prix promoteur, d'accord? Euh, comme c'est en l'état. Okay. 
And yeah. you're going to keep the yeah, uh, yeah. Ink stuff. Uh, uh, beautiful. Yeah. See, it's like uh, from the 1930s. Mm -hmm. We have seen, on a des appartements similaires en France, à Paris, avec des, des moulures. It's called moulures in French. Mm -hmm. Look at this. And here. Here? Yeah. This, this part with the roses also. Uh, monuments, well, we had agreement with monuments, uh, so this one we also will do, we will do the renovation of the roses, everything, this this small part. Well, it's going to take a while. Yeah. What, what, what's, the, what's, what's the... It's uh, just that uh, we, we, need, we, we need it to have all the compromises with them. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. And afterwards, we don't care who buys it, he can do it himself, but at least Absolutely. when the monuments come, they need to, this, this will be like a, that we saved some part of, uh, it's like an uh, old um, uh, wallpapers uh -huh. as well. We have a catalog, we'll find them. Right. And how reactive are, are, are them? I know in France, for example, it's terrible. It takes months to file and then months to get an answer. Not is it similar least, or are they are more responsive? It is similar, but now we know how to deal with them. Ah, okay. When you, when you go through one project, project yeah, we understand. They know who you are yeah, and yeah, trust you with them. Because of first they were like, oh, you're going to be more traveling. Okay. But then we explain, we, we, can, we can try to find some compliments. Okay. At least we do some. Beautiful. We we'll leave some old elements for them that they're happy. So this is a three bedroom. Three, one, two, that's three. Yeah, and that's then here, three. So one, two, three. three. Yeah. One, two, three. One. Okay. 67, I think, six, 60, no, uh, 68. Sorry. And the community, the building here, are all short term, right? Yeah. yeah. Different corridor as well, like more. Okay. Il y a une entrée euh, collective qui dessert sur des appartements. Et là, on est sur des sur des sur des studios. Tu vois, ça va être des parties communes ici. Tu me vois pas bien parce qu'il y a peu de luminosité. Mais là, ce sont des parties communes. Et boum, sur chaque côté, ce sont des studios. Et plein cœur de rigueur. Two room apartment. Okay. This one. And this this like this. We sell it like this. Yeah. Studio plot here. And this one also we left this one for that. Uh, <laughs> but we still need to uh, renovate it to have a nice shape. But we know how to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do it. Et que si nous explique que pour faire appel aux architectes bâtiment de de Lettonie, c'est l'équivalent de l'ABF euh, en France, pour euh, s'assurer que que tout ça soit rénové euh, en fonction des standards de de l'époque, que ce soit que ce soit préservé parce que c'est c'est du patrimoine. But uh, not so much. We already had the, uh, these uh, residence permits. Okay. Okay. And yeah, those, they bought like four. And, and what's the reason why they invest? Is it hedge just, against inflation, yeah, or no, is it just, just, just in what investment that uh, they will rent out in, in the future? That's it. Okay.
you see foreigners a lot here, or? Yeah, sure, sure. But uh, the same, a lot of, uh, but but investors, a lot of Lithuanians, Estonians, of course, as well. A lot of Lithuanians and Estonians, okay. But that's we're talking about. Uh, maybe not so much of uh, private investors, but that's more about uh, fund, fund company investment. and funds. Now we had all the. Just out of curiosity, because it's 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 very pricey yeah, to renew these facades. Mm. So so for, say for example, for a, a studio owner or something that needs to go through that mm. such a renovation. Sure. How much would it be like for for the end buyer? For the end buyer, it's, it's a hard question, if, but if more or less. If, if for instance community wanted to do it themselves. Yeah. You ask like this, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Uh, we can go also from that side. I think uh, the facade will cost them. Mm, minimum depends again how much how much uh, drawings is this on the facade. Yes, and, like if it has some historical. Part. Like a normal for refurbishing, one, yeah. For example, one, this one, this one, it was quite easy, yeah. Yes, it's not a you don't have a lot of you know tracks and, and, no, no, and no. different and different old old stuff. Yes, you need, right. right? I think it's like 100,000, uh, 100, something like that. 100k, okay. Divided by square meter by square meter of each apartment. Uh, I would say it costs uh, 100. It costs about 100. Um, 80. I would say it like this. From 70 to 100 per square meter of facade. 70 per hundred. Right. Yeah, depends how difficult is the building itself. Yeah? Okay. So 70, 70 okay. to 100 per square meter to to renovate the site. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a good, good job. How how long did it take? Uh, Sorry, I'm shooting you. No, so no, much it's questions, okay. But it's, it's okay. It's okay. It was not so. Uh, I think they did. Of course, always depends from temperature when they can start. Okay. Yeah, in winter and. I think uh, they 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 uh, managed to do it before the winter, mm -hmm. so they started probably. What was that? Uh, I would say they started end uh, beginning of uh, end of August or, or beginning of September. So they did it in more or less till the winter. Okay. Three three, three months. Okay. Three and a half, maybe. Donc là, on parle de rénovation de, de façade. Et ça, c'est généralement 100 euros par mètre carré pour rénover une façade comme celle-ci. Pas très complexe à faire comme travail puisqu'il n'y avait pas, il y avait pas de, de fissures ou autre. Et en trois mois, c'est fait euh, puisque ça a été fait pendant l'été. Donc, euh, c'est complet. Yeah. Well done. So we change all the doors. Okay. okay. Many doors. And we'll do also. Now we do. We have expect, uh, inspection. Uh -huh. uh, and engineers is um, inspecting the uh, this um, uh, basement. Okay. Uh, because we have by project, uh, I think. Four parking places here and one two there. Oh, underground? No, no, no. Just expecting that it's it is safe to put cars that it will not fall inside. So and we'll we'll do, we'll do this area afterwards as well. So there will be parking. So there will be parking. Yeah. Also. yeah. This is okay. This is mandatory. You know, like five. But, but usually you really can imagine four or five parking. Mm. Okay. And we sell them for fifty thousand here. Okay. And more central we will sell it. I'll show you afterwards for twenty thousand. It's more, more, more central. Because it's too if you have a parking in the center, it's a big problem. It is, it is, it is, it's not so far from here. Yeah, but of course on the street, you know, on the field, by the main entrance. Ah, uh, I see, I yeah. see, I see. We go from start, this is main, okay, so this is the main entrance. And then, okay. C'est ça qui est sujet aux, aux architectes bâtiments de, de Riga, de, de Lettonie, c'est les vieilles cheminées. 
Donc, euh, il est possible de les enlever pour installer quelque chose d'artificiel. Encore une fois, on est épaulé par l'église ici, qui s'occupe de l'ensemble des demandes, des autorisations. On est entre de bonnes mains. I already had some prediction that if you keep on going, then, then you have an overall good year. And those who keep on moving, every, every, everyone's had quite a good year. But those who stopped and thought, ah, oh, let's see what happened. And the same for the war situation. Yep. Two weeks, two again, weeks. two weeks stopped. Banks said no no uh, app applications. But after two weeks, uh, we talk with the banks, applications are back to normal. Because we they understand that you can't, You can't do anything, you need to just keep on going and yeah. do your stuff, do your business and just live the life. Otherwise, what what can you, you can wait, you can predict and, and just and, and, and be in fear and, mm -hmm. and, and what. Totally. If, if everything will, will well, anybody, everything will be bad for everyone, yeah? So Yeah, for sure, so for sure. If, not, if everything goes yeah. down, then, then so, we're all in trouble, so, so might as well. Yeah, so then, uh, but keep it on. Keep on going, so. That's true. And the, the more events like this there is, the more inflation there will be. Yeah, so inflation. therefore the more yes. demand will be for yeah. real estate. Because we have in this COVID, uh, so the, the, the biggest demand was like, we started to make these small flats like in Chaka. Mm -hmm. And everybody said, oh, nobody wants those. But still, right. there's always demand for those. But overall in COVID, we saw that a lot of people wanted bigger apartments, like mm -hmm. extra room, mm -hmm. like you can work in a... Okay. Okay. And a lot of people were, were, were looking for some summer house outside of the city. Uh -huh. Yeah. Where we're uh, with the place with small garden. Even the townhouses. This this product as itself got back in Latvia. It was not popular before townhouses. Townhouses. Row houses. Townhouses. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now this product is back to life because at least you can go outside. You have some small yeah. area where you can sit. And you grow your veggies and yeah, stuff yeah, like something that. Something like that. So it's different products and. So that's why I would say that uh, yeah. COVID is just just helped a lot of different products to evolve. And of course, private private houses was big boom. Wow, because prior to COVID, there were not so much demand for for big big proper big yeah. flats. No? And maybe, yeah, and for instance, houses. yeah, and, and right? also also private houses. Uh, pretty much previous demand was like till 2050,000 for our average people. Yeah, for mm -hmm. private houses, but. Covid uh, demand was like now. Now it is like from for three hundred fifty million. What? Yeah, from two fifty to three fifty. That the uh, difference. Yeah. So people uh, they understand that for two fifty it's not, not so much to, anymore. Yeah, not so much to buy. Of course, prices again for build, builders uh, were higher. Okay. Uh, yeah, for sure. And is that the overall uh, fact in the market these days? Or yeah. For instance, for everything? Uh, yeah. One year ago, mm -hmm. Chaka, I think we started for average price 1,750 with white finish. 1,750, 1,000. 800 oh, okay. and now we sell like this for 2.2 and 2.2 and two and two point two in even okay yeah. last year yeah. 2021 beginning in the beginning okay okay if you compare. 
Well, that makes, that, make, that makes sense because there's a lot of value uh, and, and there's a lot of room for growth, I see. Yeah. And still, also, rental prices, also, they, they have gotten up a little bit. So, overall, for instance, if you're looking on, on this investment side, what, what cash flow you get by rental, even though the prices are higher, the rental prices are higher as well. So it, Immeuble numéro 3, les deux précédents c'était dans le centre-ville et là on est plus vers la partie historique de la capitale de la Lettonie, donc Riga.
Donc là, on est en train de visiter des, des bureaux qui vont être scindés et, et remodelés en fait en, en habitation. Donc là, on est sur un, un appartement qui sera dit de 49 mètres carrés. Et on est sur un prix, what's the price par meter square here? On va voir plus tard, je pense. Ouais, c'est 2000 et quelques. 2100 euros du mètre carré pour, pour le, le, produit, le produit fini. Ouais, c'est une chose. Et puis, tu vas investir plus de 500, 600. Et au final, tu spends 2700, mais tu peux, après, après un temps court, tu le vends pour un minimum de 3000. So when you say 500 on top, it's for what, for kitchens and things like this, for finishing, furniture. Yeah. Plus 500 euros du yeah. mètre. Because in this, you don't need, maybe even less, yeah, in this one, you know, it's maybe even 450, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. En plus, 450 du mètre carré. This part that you can leave, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a point de Hongrie. Yeah. Hong Hungary uh, yeah. spikes. Yeah. Nice. Of course, it's harder, uh, because we're going to put the wall, so it will be... You need to take it down really careful, yeah? Here, yes. this part. But uh, other, one, other than that, that this fourth floor was the best one. Another floor here. Okay. And uh, it's good that they have windows both sides. Yes. And uh, for all three, it's really quiet. It's very quiet. Mm -hmm. Good to hear our flying. Even with the windows open. That's beautiful. Well, this, this would, would fly off the shelves on you know, shop, shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 what what we all will we'll have a, in basement? We'll have a small uh, storages. Mm -hmm. Ah, so we can put uh, the bed linen, the bed sheets, yeah. the yeah. king yeah. we, uh, we were also thinking to make one one room with a uh, washing machine and dryer. Because Donc pour le pour le toilet, there, we'll, we'll go. Pour la location saisonnière, il y a. C'est important, on a d'expérience. Euh, il faut une pièce à part pour, pour mettre euh, tout ce qui est linge de maison, draps, produits d'entretien, euh, machine à laver, sèche-linge. Et c'est typiquement ce qui va être prévu ici. The weapons. I don't know the weapons. They gotta do what they gotta do. Huh? Yeah. Here will be big one. Here's like, we take down this wall. Okay. And then we have uh, two windows both sides. That's good. I, I feel like lots of possibilities. Uh, I see value for the long term. I see uh, cash flow in the short term. Mm -hmm. And um, is um, Latvia regulating short term rents? Is there like a period of the year we need to... No. Okay. Not. Is it in the plans? Huh? Is it in the plans? Uh, to regulate? Yeah. Mm, hard to tell. Of course, always there's some um, uh, hotel, hotel, uh, yeah, hotel yeah, yeah. Of these managers who, who want to do it. Oh, okay. yeah. But it's not like uh, in the books in, in being copied. For the moment, no regulation in terms of location for the durée, like uh, in Estonia. So we can rent in the state, at the moment where I make this video, we can rent all year in location season. And what would be the, the, the price, the, the, night, the night cost per person, you think? Uh, for this one? In average, or if we can take 60, something like that. Wow. 50, 60, yeah. 50, 60? Yeah. For this That's what we do in Estonia. Yeah. We... How, how much do you rent for me? 60 per night. 60 per night? Yeah. Something like that. Depends from, from the flat, and, but more mm -hmm. or less, yeah. More or less, per person? 50, yeah. 50, 60. 50, more, 60. Uh, maybe bigger, 60. Wow. And uh, average, we have in Latvia, I think, uh, 65%. Uh, Uh, per year. Oh, yeah. 65%. 65% de manière conservatrice, I think it's conservative number. Yeah. Because in yeah, the yeah. summer it must be much more. Sure, 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 much yeah. so, but, uh, 60, 65% de, de taux de remplissage uh, à l'année, hein, lycée sur l'année, sur une moyenne de 55-60 euros de, de revenus locatifs, ce qui est, ce qui est top parce que c'est ce qu'on fait nous actuellement en Estonie. And even though in, uh, in uh, COVID times it didn't uh, go really down because like hotels were shut down, and still, ah. still people were using this right. opportunity. So, mm. uh, Et même les maybe the price is a little bit uh, lower, but, but the average the same, more or less 65%.
when when it was the the, the best year for Airbnb booking, it was like seventy percent okay. occupancy. So okay, but pendant les périodes de de choc, there's another advice. So see, each each flight will be bad. If the pool will take care of them, clean and yeah, power, okay, and, and and somebody built um, their own terrace. Okay. Hmm. And I don't know. Is it that's official? cool. Though. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't that's sketchy. I know that it does. Il y a quelqu'un qui a, qui a fait sa propre terrasse ici. Euh, maybe Sarah Maybe. Là, on est vraiment dans un endroit euh, prisé. Cet immeuble, juste ici, là, c'est du 4000 euros du mètre carré, donc c'est du premium. Et on est dans le quartier des ambassades. Église, the main man here, 17 years in the market. So um, we have the chance to be with him today, absolute expert about the Riga market. And I'm, I'm blown away, honestly. I'm blown away because there's different districts. It yeah. feels like there are like... In Riga it was different, yeah. And of course, a lot of old blocks, Soviet blocks as, as well. We Panelkas, have, we, yeah. have, we have the whole nine. But that's, that's really far away. It's like 30 minute drive. Okay, okay. Wow. In the main center, not so many people. Here. Locals, there are a lot of tourists and, and embassy workers and, and uh, wealthy people. Look at these buildings, how beautiful. Yeah, so beautiful. I was surprised about the color. The cool. colors, yeah, like this. Surprised. Yeah, mint. Uh -huh. So basically, they're renovating the last, uh, I think, one, one, one uh, house is not renovated in this. Just this and one, it is, yeah? And, this, uh, and that one as well. visiter trois immeubles euh, définitivement hein, je vais en parler avec euh, nos investisseurs qui font partie d'héritage donc je vais lancer des alertes euh, on va bientôt euh, investir se focaliser sur l'investissement à Riga qui est l'équivalent de Tallinn mais avec quelques années de retard donc gros potentiel de plus-value et c'est beau c'est beau donc je t'invite à rejoindre Life Invest Héritage si tu veux être euh, à jour et au courant en premier en priorité Toujours sur le thème d'investissement clé en main, euh, je te présente tous les intervenants, donc chasseurs immobiliers, euh, avocats pour structurer, que ce soit en nom propre ou bien un achat en société, et jusqu'à la rénovation, à la gestion euh, locative. Je mets tout ça en détail dans Life Invest Heritage, qui va bientôt augmenter de prix, hein, forcément au fur et à mesure qu'on développe de nouveaux marchés et qu'on ajoute de la valeur au sein du programme, et eh bien, eh bien on augmente de prix et ça va passer sur un forfait récurrent, donc un abonnement annuel dans lequel tu vas avoir accès aux alertes, aux opportunités internationales. D'accord, ce sera plus forcément Estonie, ce sera centré sur l'étranger, des marchés à fort potentiel de rentabilité. Et généralement, ce qu'on vit, c'est du 10% de rentabilité globale, hein, y compris la rentabilité locative plus l'augmentation des prix de l'immobilier au mètre carré. Et c'est la promesse qu'on a honorée sur euh, sur les dernières années, donc sur les euh, quatre années euh, depuis depuis l'inception de Life Invest en 2019. Une nouvelles opportunités, hein, quand c'est la crise économique quelque part, comme d'habitude, c'est le boom économique ailleurs. Même en, en temps de choc, que ce soit crise sanitaire ou bien conflit, euh, conflit, eh bien les personnes se recentrent sur l'immobilier. Pourquoi Parce que c'est une excellente façon euh, de se protéger contre l'inflation. Et quand il y a choc, forcément impression monétaire et donc euh, bah, plus d'argent pour euh, une même quantité d'appartements à louer donc ça veut dire que bah, ça fait grimper les prix de l'immobilier et c'est ce qu'on a vu euh, c'est ce qu'on a vu depuis 2020 donc euh, peu importe ce qui décide de nous mettre entre les pattes une guerre une pandémie en tant que propriétaire investisseur ça fait gonfler les prix euh, de ces de ces actifs là donc il faut en profiter et c'est ce que les personnes ici sur le terrain sont en train de faire et c'est pour ça que, en tant que, 
qu'entrepreneur, en tant que personne qui génère un flux de trésorerie, c'est pour ça que tu devrais considérer de, de, de sécuriser une partie de cet argent que tu as mis beaucoup d'efforts à, à gagner dans un actif qui s'apprécie, qui génère des nouvelles sources de revenus. Donc, euh, qu'est-ce que tu attends Life in Best Heritage en description avant l'augmentation du prix. Donc, c'est maintenant que ça se passe. Et là, regarde-moi ça. Tableau à 20K sur le mur. Assez sympa. C'est un artiste euh, impressionniste latvien. Et on est toujours avec la, la nouvelle euh, femme. Would you invest here? Yes, actually, uh, because uh, they're bigger for the like for the price we could buy in Estonia. And yeah. Here we have like bigger space, so yes. it's it's very nice, and they have nice windows, and bigger space, like. Okay, so for the same same amount of money, we can buy much yeah. bigger apartment, more, and and also better location. Yes, because we checked on the city center. Oui, on, on a simplement vu du centre du centre historique, du centre ville de, de Riga. Ça n'a rien à voir avec les, les prix de Tallinn. Hein. Ok. To be continue. Yeah. Au revoir. Comment est-ce que Life Invest peut vous aider Trois possibilités. La première, abonnez-vous à la chaîne et activez les notifications pour être sûr de ne jamais manquer une de mes nouvelles vidéos. La seconde, munissez-vous d'un exemplaire de ce livre bleu, Opération Silicon Valley UE. J'ai résumé mes années d'expérience à entreprendre et investir en Estonie et les stratégies exactes que vous pouvez mettre en place pour établir votre plan d'action Life Invest. Et enfin, si vous avez un besoin urgent, si vous avez besoin d'aide pour trouver une solution dès maintenant, que ce soit pour payer moins d'impôts, pour développer votre entreprise, votre patrimoine plus rapidement ou encore instaurer un mode de vie qui vous fait vibrer, allez dans la description de cette vidéo ci-dessous pour découvrir nos programmes.